Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Imagination Upgraded. I'm your host and director, Brandon Champ Robinson, and it's that time to do the director's commentary for episode three. Episode three, I know I was a wait. I apologize. I know I apologize every time, but I swear I'm trying to get better at releasing them faster. Just takes time and money, and I'm trying to get more of that <laughs> and making it happen. So first of all, happy holidays. As you can see, got my tree up back here. This is not actually where my tree goes, but I just wanted you guys to see my tree. It's a tall, skinny tree. Our first tree died before Christmas, and this was all that was left. So don't judge me by my tree. But back to the task at hand, episode three. So episode three is finally here. If you haven't seen it yet, please go ahead and watch that first before watching the commentary. But we introduced Catwoman. We got to see the viciousness of Black Mask. And we also got to see, well, what we always see, Harley is pretty much still in search of Mr. J and looking for answers just anywhere she can, trying to find answers. Um, I'm going to get right into it. I got a lot to talk about with this episode and kind of let you know where my thought process was. And uh, let's just get right to it. So this time, I'm not going to make you guys sit through my uh, intro that I love so much. I'm going to skip past it this time. So let's go ahead and make it happen. On top of a roof in Gotham somewhere. So actually, this is a parking garage. Cool thing is Where this shot is in the see? middle of the parking garage, actually. And the only wide shot is where she was actually on the edge. And we didn't want to keep her there too long just because it was kind of dangerous. She was a trooper. And shout out to Sharon Ann. Not only is she a dope actress, but she's also an amazing gospel Selena. singer. So you guys should check her out. Uh, follow her on Instagram. She's pretty Pardon? active on there. Miss Sharon what is this Ann. About? You and me, we gotta talk about Mr. J. So I'm here we establishing Listen, that they have gone. some so sort of previous relationship. Um, and uh, hey, Selena, she's really, really just looking for an ear Sorry. or just some guidance down, into you know what's going on with her right now. So it's really setting up the relationship with them for possibly a future project that, uh, you know, will remain unknown as of right now. Shout out to my mom's cat. She doesn't have a cat anymore. Another thing about this location, I've used this location about three times now. This is my grandmother's house. In every episode, I swear I use a different part of her house. So thank you, Grandma, for always being there and letting me use your house. <laughs> this score for Catwoman right here is so dope to me. My buddy, my brother, Godzilla, made this, and he actually, like, was very meticulous about this, and that's one of the reasons that it took so long to get this episode out. So I'll let you guys blame him for that. <laughs> but uh, I don't blame him. Like he really wanted it to be a signature piece and he really put he really put his foot into this score. Gotta love those downtown Milwaukee aerials. Just feels so godliness. So here in this meet, it was supposed to be a warehouse, but we could not get the warehouse on the day. And my buddy came through and he allowed us to use his basement of an apartment complex that he owns. So we hung up all this plastic and did a little bit of set design around it. And even though it was a lot smaller area than I originally wanted them fighting in, they pulled it off real well. It was very narrow, but they did a great job. Same as always, I guess. So this is all about just trying to see who's gonna get the one up on the other. Oh yeah. I'm glad these, both of these ladies are pretty athletic. We already know Courtney's all taekwondoed out and I actually did not know that Sharon was so athletic.
So that fight is the equivalent of on a holiday when you see your cousins that you haven't seen in a long time and you just like spar up with them a little bit like, hey, that was that's the equivalent of that. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You were there that night, right? The night that Mr. J disappeared? You were at Wayne Tower, weren't you? So Catwoman being one of the few people who has a little yeah, bit of insight of what to. happened to what Batman happened and Joker. Night? It's been months since anybody's heard from Mr. J. Bats ain't been this around much either. particular part of the script, I struggle with whether I it wanted to show the Joker and Batman in a flashback or not. Um, I thought about doing it live action, I thought about doing it in animation, and I just feel like it's not, not yet time to show the Joker, not yet time to reveal uh, what's happening, just kind of keep the suspense going. Batman somehow negated the bombs, he used some Batman's always got something up his sleeve. Like a gun, almost. It fired a pulse and rendered the bombs inert. But then Joker responded with something mm -hmm. weird. It was like a balloon, but it was heavy. He threw it at Batman's feet. This Batman is also our first episode and, that we've done in 4K. What? So anyone who has a 4K light. television out there, Everything went white. please enjoy. It was a flash of light brighter than anything I've ever seen before. But it still before. looks amazing on I can remember a 1080p being TV also. Blind for a or a computer monitor. Dark spots or iPhone, iPad. When I finally could see again, <laughs> Batman was on his hands and knees and Joker was gone. Going where? <sighs> Just going. There one moment, gone the next. I rushed to the rooftop to see if I could help Batman, but he was he was gone when I got there. Mm -hmm. People don't the just get guy. caught, Selena. They everyone and get away. Nobody even looking happen. for bats. They hurt. I did for a while. But after a month I realized he was gone. And maybe gone for good. And maybe he's resting. Maybe retired. Maybe dead. I, I don't know. All I knew was for the first time since I'd met him. Batman was no longer in Gotham. It just don't seem right, Selena. We gotta find him. I mean, Gotham ain't Gotham without him. They weren't gonna live forever, Harley. I mean, neither one could get the edge over the other. And they couldn't fight forever. You know, maybe it's just, maybe it's over now. So what am I supposed to do now? Start quilting? Go into bingo night? Doesn't look like I like bingo. Maybe Harley Quinn should retreat from the forefront and let Harleen have mm. her body back. And maybe Harley shouldn't be in Gotham anymore either. And Dr. Quinzel can resume her practice. Hoping Which is people. what Harleen so is trying to do. But Harley no longer needs people just like won't allow that to happen. Anymore. Harley is strong within this one. Can't do this forever either, Harley. Fun fact about this shot, these next couple of shots is it was raining and it was a really good rain day. So I'm like, oh, this would be dope. It's raining in Gotham. That's cool. The rain was very splotchy. So a lot of this rain had to be recreated in After Effects. Uh, so that's cool. I might do a a uh, tutorial on how I did that. As you can see, it was really raining good here at this point. Now, whenever you're just a hardcore bad guy, dude, you never hold your own umbrella. There's always somebody that gets out the car and holds your umbrella. I can't wait till I get to the point where... I I no longer have to hold my own umbrella. <laughs> what you doing, man? Get out of here. Black Mass sends his greetings. Black Mass? That dude's still alive? Better yet, that dude ever mm. get his face fixed? <laughs> Talk shit about Black Mass. Black Mass wants you fellas to know that he's disappointed in how Gotham is being run. He wants to offer you a brand new opportunity to fix this town once and for all. 
and humbly ask that you swear allegiance to him, devoting yourself noble to his cause. noble cause. Roma can't even run his own company. What makes you think you can run a city such as Gotham? Black Mass is a two-bit hood with dreams of grandeur. Quite frankly, he can Ooh. kiss my ass. Tough words, tough words. Black Mass is a man of vision. Who else is strong enough to run this town? We need someone to take control. Or else we're gonna be dodging the Gotham police for minor scores like this. Back up, boy. <laughs> I enjoy watching this so much. Mrs. Penny, gentlemen. Get in now while the getting is good. Once Black Mass begins, whoever isn't with him is against him. Listen, everything Sionis has got has been handed it's down to him matter. by his mommy and his daddy. I'm out, fool. You can tell Sionis I don't want nothing to do with this. I think he heard you. <laughs> Get out of here, son. You're bothering me. Ooh. Black Mass coming in hot. So the first... The second episode where we introduced him, it was pretty, you know, he was kind of rough. He was beating up a guy, and that was kind of hardcore. But I feel like we needed to just step it up and really make him just ruthless. Let everybody know that he is not a player to be messed with. Are you with me or against me? I'm thinking we're against you, Roman. Now put the damn irons down and put your hands up. E for effort. I'll give you that. You ain't gotta give me shit. I'll take what I want. Floyd, if you would. Now, I have a special, special something for the first person who can tell me in the comments to tell me who shot him. Just wait and see. You can tell me. Who shot the thug behind Black Mass? You have an official Harley Quinn web series, I Ain't Weak, wristband coming your way. <laughs> and that's the episode. So, a lot going on there. We're setting up Black Mask. He's building this gang. We've tied in Harley to Catwoman. So we don't know what's going to happen there. Was Catwoman out of it? Will Catwoman help her later? Who knows? You have to wait to episode four to see which episode four. I promise it's not going to be that long of a wait. My hope is to get it out to you in January, and I believe that I'm going to be able to hit that task. So be on the lookout for that. And one more thing before we go, a couple more things before we go. The winner of the profile pick challenge. So we asked everyone to in support of episode three to change the profile pic to get the word out. And the winner of that challenge is Felicia Peralta. Felicia Peralta, you have won our challenge. You will be receiving an Imagination Upgraded shirt, the official HQ series wristband. You'll also be receiving all of our digital downloads from the stores. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who's been watching it, liking it, commenting, sharing, all that kind of stuff. Make sure that you guys go and check out our store. Every little bit that is sold in our store goes back into our productions. So even by spending $1 to get a wallpaper, that goes back into our productions. We recently hit 5,000 likes on our uh, Facebook page. So that is amazing. So if every Facebook like gave $1, that could get us through a couple of episodes, I think. So, again, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff that really helps us out the more the word gets out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. See you in the next year. Take it easy. Peace.